Okay, well, happy holidays, everybody. We're heading toward Christmas, and uh, I've been playing around with a different uh, different circuit here, and I just wanted to share this before I disassemble it because I probably won't come back to this circuit, but it was an interesting one to study. It's uh, basically, a, I think, what would be considered a, a modified Hartley circuit, and I've got under that platform there a uh, bifiler coil that's joined in the middle. It's what they call series connected and a capacitor and one transistor and it makes an oscillator and I've got that uh, magnet running on the top of that mirror and uh, it's lighting up Maggie just bright. Now she's a generator at this point or actually an alternator and on the back of her is a um, bridge rectifier and uh, another connection point right there that you can see I've got this connected. And I took one of these little snowmen apart here. It's a LED uh, kind of thing that changes color. And that's the guts of it right there. That's what came off of it. And watch when I connect Maggie to this. Show Maggie can actually do some work. There goes that. Now watch Maggie's eyes change and they'll go out here as this goes from different color to different color. And there go her eyes and there's the red LED. Now this one goes back into blue and green she comes back on which I found that very interesting so I wanted to share that with people how that worked and as that load gets applied to her uh, her eyes go out and this other light comes on then they come back on depending on the LED that's being uh, activated and uh, I found that very interesting. And that's all being driven. Maggie's being driven by that spinning magnet right there. Now this is running on a volt and a half uh, battery at about uh, 10 milliamps at this point. Now I've got a little potentiometer here to vary the frequency or the uh, power to the uh, circuit. And uh, it goes anywhere from about 5 or 6 on up to 15 uh, milliamps. And here's the circuit. And uh, I'm going to hold this here for just a second. Maybe you can see it stop the frame. And I'm calling this um, the capacitor trigger, the PNP capacitor trigger. And uh, I'm Lidmore. It's the uh, 10th of December, 2010. And there's the Maggie generator with her output at about 2.3 volts from this circuit. And you can see this is a series connected bifiler coil. There's about 300 winds uh, each on an air core coil, uh, no core. Um, about 30 gauge or 24 gauge will get the job done. It's a PNP transistor, but I'm triggering it through a capacitor. And this is what uh, I found interesting. That's why I made this video was uh, usually you use a resistor, some kind of a feedback through a resistance to trigger that that this is a capacitive thing and it's like a Hartley circuit. Now it wouldn't run unless I put an LED in here. That's a 1.5 volt red LED. And then I added this in here to control things more but you don't really need that. And uh, it's running on 1.5 volts at about 10 to 15 milliamps. But uh, I found this circuit interesting so I thought I would make a little video and post it and uh, show uh, show it in action here with Maggie actually under load doing work um, earning her keep running that little device there that uh, changes color and uh, that's just one of these uh, snowman things here uh, taken apart and uh, there's no batteries in it I took the batteries out and I was going to disassemble it and just use the LED but I thought maybe I can put the snowman back on it and make it do its thing. You can see this in the dark, uh, but you can't see it during the daylight. This needs about 3 volts or better to make those LEDs come on bright and make it look like that. But anyway, in the dark you can see it pretty good. Anyway, it's just something I wanted to share and wish everybody happy holidays. Thanks for watching.